Have you ever thought about being an inventor, coming up with brilliant ideas for ingenious devices or clever machines? Well, I'm going to show you how you too can be an absolute genius. Some of you may be wondering what an inventor actually does. Well, it's lots of different things. For starters, they do their inventing in an amazing variety of places. From ships, to sheds, to swimming pools. They use loads of different tools, from a simple pen and paper, to soldering irons, to metal working machines in workshops. They work hard, but they have a lot of fun as well. Now, what kind of people make the best inventors? How do you start out being an inventor in the first place? And what kind of skills do you think you need? When people notice things, I think when people are observant, they make good inventors. You need to be creative and have ideas of your own. Seeing some of the crazy, wacky things in science fiction films and thinking, could I make that real? Be willing to do it. Mm -hmm. So you can't say, I'm going to be an inventor, but I'll do it later. Yeah. I'll be an inventor later. You have to be really driven, a person. Like you've got to, you've got to want to get things done. You also need to be able to see um, a problem that exists. You need to find a need, something that needs to be solved. Sam and Benjamin Houghton love solving problems. They're Britain's youngest inventors. So, what are you doing here? What's this? This is so you don't strain your arm or cut your hand either. But I'll let you have a demonstration on this big rock. OK, let me have a look. So it's like... So just pretend that you don't see the rock. Yeah. You're digging down. Yeah. The problem they wanted to tackle was how to avoid hurting yourself when you're using a tool like a spade and you hit something hard in the ground. If you didn't have this, you wouldn't have any grip and it would um, cut you. I get you. So it's a shock, a shock absorbing handle. Yes, they can go on yeah. anything, including a spade, right? So there's a bit of rock here, but I haven't seen it. And I'm digging away, I'm digging away, I'm digging away. And ah! And usually it would like go all the way through your arm and hurt your shoulder. Yeah. But there, the handle just absorbed all the shock from it. Yeah. That is cool. So we'll do the same yeah. oh. with me. I, yeah. I don't feel a thing either. Oh, that's brilliant. And that's just with this handle? Yeah. Yeah. So the handle yeah. is your guy's invention. The handle is the best. 10-year-old Sam and 8-year-old Benjamin do a lot of their inventing whilst playing. Hello. I thought Hi. I might come and play with you. OK. They have a special cupboard that helps like them the with their inventing. Oh, my word. This yeah. is heaven. Look at it. What's of this stuff here? These are batteries, batteries aren't yeah, they? Have we got anything batteries. else? What about that one? Loads, loads of Meccano in there. Yeah. That's lots tools. Lots and stuff. of lots of tools. So in here, you have got lots of bits and pieces and things that you can use for inventing things. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. making all sorts of things. Yeah. And I've heard um, you've invented something especially for me. Yeah. Well, you could say it's an invention, but let's see it anyway. Yeah, let's go over yeah. here. Ah. <laughs> A wakey uppy thing. So what does this do then? Well, it wakes you up in the morning. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> if you struggle to get up in the morning, then Sam and Benjamin's wakey uppy thing could be the answer. First of all, it makes a scary noise. This is like a countdown to when it's going to go yeah. off. So it's yeah. set for seven in the morning, is that? Yeah. yeah. And so this is like the time being like, oh, there's three seconds, three, two, two one. one. Oh, so that's the ghost noises. And if that doesn't work, their invention gives off a tempting breakfast aroma. So to get you to leave your bedroom, yeah. there's the smell of bacon. Uh, oh, you can actually smell the bacon? Yeah. And, yeah. So, like, and so oh, I get you, so the ghost noises will go, oh, something's happening, something's happening, it's scary. And then you would normally just go back to sleep once you've realised nothing's happening. But then when you smell the bacon, you go, mmm, bacon, I might get out of bed to get the bacon. <laughs> I think I need this. I think this would actually get me out of bed. Oh, uh, probably. <laughs> At least oh. like they <laughs> Yeah, that's true. So, Sam and Benjamin have lots of the qualities that go into making a good inventor. Creativity. Curiosity. 
and a determination to solve problems. 